Hi all, in this video we'll see how to work with basic drop downs. So in this basic drop downs example, these are the toggleable drop downs where a button or a link control is displayed for the drop down control and clicking on it you'll find a predefined list from which you can select the desired one. So here drop down example is the drop down and html css javascript are the drop down entries so let's jump into tosca to create a module for this scan application So in case of this uh, toggleable drop downs, the main thing to notice is that the drop down, though it is displayed as a drop down, however, either it's identified as a button or a link control. So now, as you can see, drop down example, this is identified as a button control. All right. Now, in order to locate the values, We'll go with the go to approach. We'll try to increase the filter values. I'm going to increase it to max to explain some more. So many a times you will come across these types of drop downs where UL and LI tags actually build the drop down menu. So here under LI tags, we have the drop down values displayed. So let's select one by one. So as this is a small page structure, I was able to locate them easily. If not, you can always go with the search option and try to search with the names of the values of the drop down and then look at these elements. So this is how you can find the drop down and its values. I have already created a module, so I'm not going to save it. Now let's jump into the test case section where I have already created a test case also. So here in this case, I have this button and I have selected HTML control. And we are performing the click operation on both of them. Now let's give it a run and see. So it is clicking on the drop down menu and selecting one entry from it. So this is how you can work with the basic toggleable drop downs where the drop down menu is identified as button or a link control and the values are actually inside the UL or LI tags. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you.